Today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate cigarettes and these are very, very simple. Um, as you saw online, a lot of these are used in cake decorating. You can use them in sundaes. They have all different types of uses. Now, uh, you need to do some things ahead of time. You need to have some melted chocolate and um, again, a paintbrush, obviously that's never been used for paint. It's just been used for food. You need to have a piece of scotch tape that's already off and ready to go. All right, you will not be able to pull it once you get going, so have that someplace easy. And you need a piece of acetate. This is just like an overhead transparency, and it's been cut um, in size. Now, the trick here is you're going to paint a rectangle of chocolate. So I'm just putting a blob, that's a, an official culinary word, by the way, of chocolate on here, and you're going to paint it on. Okay. Now, as you paint, you want to make sure that it's thick enough that you cannot see through the chocolate. And so as you're painting, periodically, you can pick it up and look at it through the light. And you can see your weak spots where the light is showing through more than others. If you don't thicken those spots up, what will happen is when you unroll your cigarette, that will have a hole in it. Now sometimes the hole, it's small enough that it really, your cigarette will still hold its shape. And other times it's such a weak spot that your cigarette cracks there and then you don't have a cigarette anymore, you have a mess. Okay. Now there are people who can do this just by shaving a block of chocolate. That takes a lot of practice and skill. Um, this is a little bit easier. And again there are people, and this also takes practice, there's a knack to this as well. But the nice thing about doing this in class is you can just play with it. It's like a play date with chocolate. Okay? Best kind there is. Okay? So I have a weak spot over here where I can see through that I just want to thicken up a little bit. Now this is the inside of the cigarette. The outside will be nice and smooth. Okay? All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to roll it. Okay. Now, if we can zoom in here, this is probably going to be hard to see. Here is one line of the chocolate and here is the other line. You need those to kiss and come together so that you have a full circle. Then you continue to roll the acetate around. Okay. Now you grab your tape and you roll it around here and this now can go in the refrigerator or freezer to set. Okay, we're back and our cigarette has set. Now, if you try to pull off this tape, there's a good chance you will break the cigarette. So it's better to have a knife and you just very gently slice the tape open, okay? And then you just let it unroll and here you go. You have your chocolate cigarette. It's like a giant straw. You could put this in the top of a sundae as decoration.